You want somebody that understands that concept and values and respects all of the effort that needs to happen so that those situations can be nullified. Welcome to Jay's Way. Thank you so much for coming. Please hit like and subscribe. I want to talk today about a fantastic spouse. I'm going to give a list of some of the qualities that I think are the most important. Not every quality. Of course, I'm going to finish this video and I'm going to think of something that I should have said. But a lot of the qualities that I think are really, really, really important. So let's get started. Number one, confidence. I believe that you really want to find somebody who knows who they are, who has some strength of character. And because of them having that, they're able to bring something to the relationship. Instead of just taking from you, they can give. Next on my list, honesty and being genuine. Obviously, you don't want to hide things and you want to be honest. Uh, but just like in a video that I made before, there's a lot more to honesty than just telling the truth. You also have to be able to handle the truth. Can your spouse come to you and tell you when they've made a mistake? Of course they should, but can they? Or does that mean you're going to smack them in the head with a baseball bat? No matter what it is, if they just spend an extra $5 they shouldn't have spent, are you going to jump down their throat? Or are you going to be respectful? So honesty, finding someone who, who is honest with you and finding someone that you can be honest with. Extremely important. Now, being genuine is a part of that because you need someone who's going to build you up and, you know, help you and, you know, bring you joy and happiness. Not somebody that's just going to tear you down and tell you you're not good enough and you don't do this right. You do, you're always doing this wrong. Now, if there's any kind of issue or anything that needs to change, you can always express your feelings. But then you have to back off and you have to let them decide because you should trust the person that you've picked to make the changes that will bring you uh, more happiness and joy because they want to bring you more happiness and joy. So they're going to strive to do those things. And that leads me to the next thing on my list. It's important that we find in our spouse somebody who has a strong desire to fix the problem. Because every single relationship is going to have a problem at some point. And you do not want to end up with somebody that holds on to that, feeds it, and lets it grow. At the same time, you need to be that person as well. They need to know that disagreement and frustration, that those are normal parts of a relationship. You want somebody that understands that concept and values and respects all of the effort that needs to happen so that those situations can be nullified. You want also want somebody who can be calm and respectful in an argument. Like I said earlier, arguments happen. So a good partner is somebody that knows how to argue. Not somebody that just thinks there should never be an argument and whenever there's any sort of disagreement, the whole world's fa falling apart. No, somebody that respects that process of healing. Another thing that I want to mention is that you really want to find a spouse that understands the importance of effort in a relationship. Somebody that knows that romance, talking, emotional support, um, 
working on finances together. Somebody that knows that all of these things are actually very, very important for the structural integrity of your relationship. You don't want somebody that just expects you to do those things and never does it in return. You can be romantic and loving and caring and supportive, but if they're not that way to you, everything becomes one-sided and it's very, very painful. Both partners have to be willing to put forth that effort. In the same regard, they need to be willing to learn how. You want a spouse that's going to learn and try new things that will help them and your relationship to become better. Somebody that actually listens when they hear a counselor or a friend or a therapist who gives them some advice and direction. It doesn't mean that they have to do everything that they hear, but they're willing to try things. They're willing to you know, work on a certain communication technique and just see if it helps. Those are the type of people that understand effort and understand the importance of working together to make the relationship work. A great partner is someone that has all of these attributes and then is willing to work together to make things better in the long run. Of course, there's always going to be ups and downs in any relationship. But the best situation is when you get to ride that roller coaster with somebody that you appreciate. Somebody that appreciates you. When you can work together and enjoy those bumps and just, you know, come to a place where everything's okay in the end, that's where peace, love, and joy come into effect. And that's Jay's way.